Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 42 Coloring Book Action Script 3. I'm starting a new FLA. I'm selecting Action Script 3. My width is 550, height is 400, and to keep my background color white and OK. If you have any questions or comments, you can contact me at flashthingy at hotmail.com. Call this action script AS and select the frame one and open the actions panel. There's basically three things we need to do. We need to create an area to write in, to, to draw in, to, to, to actually apply our colors. Secondly, we need to be able to make something to say this is the color I'm using and this is the size of the strokes that I'm going to be making when I do my coloring. And then we got to allow the mouse to pick up those colors and them line sizes and have them move around the stage. So the first thing I want to do is make the area where we're going to be putting our, our drawings when we make them type 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 and here it is it's called a sprite and the sprite is what's going to allow us to make this area because we can't use a movie clip so variable I'm calling it canvas underscore SP as in sprite capital C A N V A S underscore SP colon sprite capital S P R I T E turns blue equals new New turns purple, space sprite, capital S again, turns blue, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. And this line says, this, small t, period, add child, small a, capital C. This is saying, um, make this part of the main timeline right now. Open bracket, and there's that name. Copy this name, paste it in, close bracket, semicolon. This turns blue if it's spelt right, all this line here, this section here. And you might be able to get away with not having this period in there. That's up to you. Then the next line says canvas underscore sprite period. Graphic period begin fill. Small g on the graphics, small b on the begin, capital F. That all turns blue if it's spelt properly. Open bracket. This is the color that I'm going to make that canvas, we'll call it. Open bracket. Zero as in counting zero, the number zero. X, F, F, zero, 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 zero. Close bracket, semicolon. That's the code for the color red. If you look down here in this bucket in the fill, click on it, and I have red selected. And if you look up here, See, it's F, F, zero, 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 zero. That's the hexadecimal code. And you can make it any color you want by just looking here and getting the hex, the hex code. Then the next semicolon, the next line, canvas underscore sprite period. This is where I'm drawing this, allowing this to take place. Again, graphics, small g, period, small d, draw, capital R as in rectangle, R-E-C, open bracket, this zero, comma, zero, comma, five, five, zero, comma, four, zero, zero, close bracket, semicolon. This is the size of the stage. Okay, this is the size of the stage. And this is where it's starting on the X and Y coordinates. So we're going to start up on the top left-hand corner. We're going to go this way, 550 and this way 400. So that's the first thing we said we wanted to do. Now let's do let's do the second item and that is to set up the size of the lines and the colors of the lines. So type 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 type. And this time we're going to use what's called a shape. So variable VAR turns purple space Draw. I'm calling it drawing, capital D R A W I N G underscore S H as in shape, colon, 
shape, S-H-A-P-E, capital H, turns blue, equals new, N-E-W, turns purple, space, shape, S-H-A-P-E again, capital S, turns blue, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. Again, this period, add child, same as what was up, up there in that sprite. Open bracket, copy this, paste it in, drawing underscore sh, close bracket semicolon, and that drawing sh period, graphic period line style, small g, small l, capital S, all turns blue, open bracket, line size, comma, capital L, capital S, comma, Draw color, capital D, capital C, close bracket, semicolon. These are two parameters we have to make as variables. So we'll do that in a minute. And here is the thing that allows it, that's going to allow it to, to move with those colors. Drawing SH, that same shape variable, period. Graphics move to small g, period, small m, capital T. Turns blue, open bracket, and I'm calling this can as in canvas, capital C A N large X, capital X, comma, and C A N capital Y, capital C, close bracket, semicolon. These are the two X and Y coordinates where we'll be on the canvas. So now we're going to make these two variables. Let's go to the top of our script, select that very first line put a couple enters, arrow up, and type in these two variables. Type, 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 type. VAR turns purple. Line size, that's the first one, capital L, capital S, colon, equals number, capital N-U-M-B-E-R, turns blue, equals seven, semicolon. That's the size of the, the lines we're going to use to draw or paint with. That's, you can make that any size you want. Then the other variable, VAR, draw color, capital D, capital C, colon, number, capital N-U-M-B-E-R, turns blue, equals 0, X, F, 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 0, 0. Again, the zeros are numbers, not the letter O. Co semicolon, and I believe this is yellow. I can come down to fill here and look at yellow and if I look up here while that's happening I'll see yellow is F F F F zero zero and that's those two variables we're talking about down here now let's finish off the code that allows the mouse to move and draw those lines so right here after this line this period add child drawing type in this code type 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 and here it is canvas underscore SP that's the sprite we made period add event listener small a capital E capital L open bracket mouse event capital M capital E period mouse underscore up all capital letters comma and I'm calling it mouse up capital M capital U close bracket semicolon copy that line paste it in all of this can stay the same except when we get here instead of mouse up capital d o w n capital down all capital letters comma and change the up to capital d o w n just down close bracket semicolon paste it again and make the up move m o v e they're all capital letters and make the turn down into capital m o v e and that much is done the next thing we need to do is here after this canvas sp most move line is put another line in and now we got to keep track of when the most is up versus when the most is down. So type in this code, type, type, type. It's a function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N turns purple. 
that's this function here we're calling this mouse up so you could copy mouse up and put it in here open bracket small e colon it's a mouse event capital M capital E turns blue close bracket colon void void turns the same color as function there's the open curly bracket for this function and the close curly bracket and we're going to make a variable called drawing D R A W I N G capital D and at this point in time we're going to say drawing equals zero semicolon so when we have the mouse up we're not allowed to draw go to the top of the page the very top put a couple enters arrow up and type in this variable VAR turns purple that's that variable we just talked about capital D R A W I N G colon number N U M B E R capital N turns blue equals one semicolon and that's this variable down here that we just will turn to zero when the mouse is up now we want to deal with when the mouse is down that's the second one we made here so after this close curly bracket put a couple of enters type 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 it's a function f u n c t i o n you could actually copy this line and just change the word down change the word up to down but I'm gonna go through it function mouse down that's this one here open bracket small e colon mouse event capital M capital E turns blue close bracket colon void there's the open bracket for this function and way down here after this after this line that's already here put your close curly bracket okay now inside this function are those two lines we've already made we've already made them and we're going to add these lines a variable can capital C capital X as in the the canvas coordinates for the X colon number capital N U M B E R equals drawing underscore S H as in the drawing shape period mouse M O U S E small M capital X that should turn blue semicolon now you can copy this and paste it change can X to can Y make sure it's a capital Y and change mouse capital X to mouse capital Y and of course we want to be able to tell the drawing thing to work so now that variable D R A W I N G equals one semicolon now if you've been wondering your line your numbers may not be lining up to mine because I'm cutting and pasting to do this and let's do the final one which is for the mouse move so I'm at that last curly bracket a couple of enters and type 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 this code go through it quickly with you it's a function it's mouse move open bracket E colon mouse event close bracket colon void that variable can X capital C capital X colon number equals drawing underscore sh period mouse x small m capital x that turns blue semicolon copy this paste it here and change the capital x to a capital y change the capital x to a capital y and now we have an if we're testing it if turns purple open bracket drawing equals equals one close bracket that's this one we made right here when we put the most down see the most went down so this says you can draw if that's true open curly bracket drawing sh that's the allowing us to draw period graphics period line two small g small l capital T tell the most to follow these coordinates open bracket 
can X, capital C, capital X, comma, capital C, capital Y, close bracket, semicolon, there's the closed curly bracket for this if, and there's the closed curly bracket for this function. So let's test it out. No errors, it's good. There's my stage where I can draw and I can draw. As long as I don't come off and try to come back on because I'll get some crazy things happening. There's going to be the follow-up where we're going to add the pictures. That will be Flash Tutorial Request 43 Coloring Book Part 2 AS3. Hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.